2023 was an unpredictable year of transition and a season of realigning my focus and goals. It began with the refueling of my passion for missions and travel. I started off the year in Argentina, a place I had longed to visit for many years. While there, I got to experience so much beauty doing ministry outdoors in God's creation. Fast forward a few months and I also had the privilege of traveling to Honduras to help my friends Ben and Brittany with ministry there. Baby Rio also brought plenty of joy. I also got to meet Ben's friend Isai, who is from Honduras, and we even got to explore a waterfall together. I remembered my good friend Mel was living just next door in Guatemala, so God opened the door to visit her as well. This also led to getting to achieve a goal of hiking Vulcan Akatanango, where I was able to see a live eruption. I also got to connect with many other missionaries and participants doing World Race, which brought me back to many fond memories from when I did it a few years ago. I then traveled back to Honduras and packed up for a getaway to El Salvador with Ben's family and Isai. After a slight hiccup at the border, we made it to the beach and had a blast. I did sadly crash my drone though. Even though it was a vacation of sorts, we know ministry can happen wherever you're at, so we wanted to be intentional with the little time we had there. We got to have several great conversations about Jesus with staff and locals, as well as other tourists. I even had plenty of opportunity with one of my favorite ways to do ministry by playing soccer on the beach.
The testimonies from this trip alone still get me excited for how God moves in such unique ways. A few months later, I got to reconnect with several friends from when I did World Race and make new ones as we celebrated Zach and Presley getting married. It may have taken them a while, but we all knew it was coming, and I was so glad to be there for it. The next few months, I took my foot off the gas and put my focus towards my local church community and preparing for the next step in the journey. I believed God was going to honor this commitment in time of slowing down. The relationships, serving, and constant prayer paid off as I saw God provide me with a bus to begin this next crazy part in the journey. This year definitely had hard moments as you were only seeing the highlights. I needed to reestablish rhythms and reconnect in my relationship with God. I had fears and doubts over the trajectory of my life. I'm excited for what God has in store for me next year and the next steps in his missional plans for me. But I don't want to take for granted how important this year and all the years before have been. I honestly don't know how else to sum this up other than to say that it truly is a journey.